With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, the question is, in trapezium ABCD, AB is parallel to DC, P and Q are the midpoints of AD and BC respectively. BP product means CD produced at point E. Prove that point P bisects BE. Okay, so before that, before we start, we need to draw the diagram. Okay, so let's draw the diagram of this question. So here in the trapezium ABCD, it is given that AB is parallel to DC. Let's say this point is AB, this side is AB and this side is our DC side. This is DC side. So let's join A and D and B and C. This is A, B, C, D. Okay. Now here it is said that P, Q are the midpoints of A, D and B, C. For A, D it's P and B, C it's Q. So this point is P, this point is Q. Okay. Uh, or BP produced the product meets C, D produced at point E. So BP will meet C, D. So this is BP. If we join them. So you look like this. This will meet CD. This will meet CD at point E. This is the point E. This point is E. Okay. So they are meeting at this point E. Now what we have to prove? We have to prove that P bisects BE. That means this point is the midpoint of the line BE. Okay. So if you look at the diagram, here you can see that C uh, e, uh, CD is produced up to E. That means CE will be parallel to AB as AB is parallel to DC. Okay. So from here you can see that first thing will be CE parallel to AB. Okay. As this is parallel, this angle, angle E, uh, we, if we take P point PBA and angle, angle PD, uh, PED, these two angles will be equal. Okay. Why they are equal? Because they are alternate angles of parallel lines. So from here you can think. The second thing we'll get is angle A B P A B P will be equals to angle uh, P E D P E D. Why? Because they are alternate alternate angles. Okay, as they are alternate angles, they are equal. So if we consider these two triangles, triangle A P B and triangle D P E. So in triangle so in triangle a p b and triangle p d or you can write p e d what do we get first thing is a p will be equals to a p equals to p d as this is given that the p is the midpoint of a d okay so first thing will be a p will be equals to p d as p is the midpoint mid point of AD. Secondly, angle APB, angle APB will be equals to what? Angle APB will be equals to angle DPE. Why they are equal? APB, DPE, they are vertically opposite angle. They are equal because they are, they are vertically opposite angles okay third thing earlier we proof angle a b p is equals to p e d angle a b p equals to angle p e d so in the triangle you can see that these two triangles are having a side equal two of the angles are equal that means according to a s a rule they are congruent so from here you can write that therefore triangle a p b congruent to triangle P E D by A S A that means angle side angle rule. Okay, so they are congruent. As these two triangles are congruent, we can say that their corresponding parts will be equal. That means see, by using CPCT, corresponding part of congruent triangle, we can say that AP will be uh, uh, we can say that P B will be equals to P E. So we can write from here that by therefore by C P C T what we can say. P B will be equals to P E, which implies that P is the midpoint of B E. Okay, which means therefore P point P point bisects bisects 
P point bisects BE. This is what we have to prove. So this is the correct solution for this question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.